Beastorm Simulator B tier list. I've been playing Beastorm for over five years now. Four years, I mean, same thing. So yeah, as a very experienced Beastorm player, I will be ranking every single B in Beastorm Simulator. Shout out to Singham for making this tier list. So yeah, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like and sub, and tell me in the comments what you think about my little tier list. Do you agree with my opinion on where I put all the Bs, or do you disagree, and should some of the Bs be better or worse tiers? Do let me know. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, this isn't in any specific order, it's just a bunch of Bs from Beastworm, so let's start off with Baby B. I'll put it in S tier, and I'll be explaining why I'm putting every single B in their respective tier. Life in Prison, if you use. Sounds pretty solid. Yeah, Baby B. The reason I put it in S tier, obviously it gives you Baby Love. Baby Love gives you times 2 Pollen and times 2 Luck. The most important thing, obviously, the Pollen. And the reason it's so good is it is legendary. It is very easy to get if you're an early game player. And if you get a couple Baby Bs early, mid, and end game, you permanently get times 2 Pollen pretty much if you always have Baby Love. And it's also free to play. You don't need to spend any Robux for this. If you pair it with Bear Morph, it's also kind of OP. Basic B, it is also S tier because 20% Pollen, I don't have to explain it. Bear B, S tier again. We're only getting S tier Bs out here. Bear Morph times 2 Pollen, Jump Power, Speed, good, very good stuff. Bomber B, I'll put it in, it's alright. It's good for Blue Hives, and that is it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, the reason I'm doing this is because I have a perspective on any single Hive color. I have been every single Hive color in Beast Swarm. I was a White Hive, I was a Blue Hive, and now I am a Red Hive. I was every single endgame hive color. Yeah, Bomber B, it's just, it's just alright. Brave B, it's, I'd say it's an A tier because uh, white hives and red hives use it. I currently have it in my hive down here with attack, very good stuff. And you can also put Toy Germ on it, which gives you haste, very good. Yeah, so Bubble B, I'll put it in, it's alright as well because blue hives use it. Buckle B, I'm gonna put it in trash. Buckle B gives you 20% blue field capacity, and even though it's cool and all, barely anyone uses it. Yeah, you know, just because of that, I'ma probably move a Bubble B down to trash as well. Bumble B, I think it gives you uh, field capacity as well. Yeah, times 1.1 capacity. I'ma put it in, it's alright, just because it gives field capacity for every single field. Carpenter B, I'ma put it in A tier, because it's good for white hives and red hives, but it's not as good as something like the Vector. Bubble B, I'll put it in A. Uh, it's a solid B. Same with Crimson. I'm gonna just put these soon A. Uh, Commander B, I'm gonna put it in A as well. You guys might say put it in S tier because it gives you like a good high bonus, 5% critical chance. But the thing, yeah, it's 3% critical chance, even less. So it's good and all, but even a half color like me, you don't run Commander B because something like the precise B, it makes up for it. The most important thing in red is the super crit chance, so we can easily get that with precise Bs. And Commander B, it's just kind of useless. Just because of that, I'm going to probably move it down. But it is very good if you're early and mid game when you don't have access to precise and super crit chance. Yeah, so Demon B, I'm going to put it in Life in Prison if you use. It is utter trash. Cool B, I'm going to put it in trash. Pretty much every blue B is going in trash. I'm going about this from like a solid perspective as someone who's been every single half color. Demo B, I think it gives you like bomb pollen or something. Yeah, 20, 30% plus bomb pollen. I'm going to put it in... It's also kind of trash. Diamond B. It is A tier. It is a very solid early game and mid game when you are converting at your hive because you get convert rate. Yeah, times 1.2 convert rate. Very solid and it's also very good for blue hives. A lot of blue hives run it. Exhausted B. I think this gives you buzz bomb pollen as well. Yeah, right here. Oh no, it's 20% white field capacity. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in, you know, it's all right. No, it's also trash, okay. Festa B, S tier. Festa B, it's like a free uh, Festa Bean every few minutes or so. And you also have a chance to get some rare drops like Festa Bean from it, you know? Yeah, and you get Red Bomb, 10% instant red conversion. Every single hive should run Festa B, but especially red because you get instant conversion in red fields, which means more honey. Or honey, always good. Fire B, I'm gonna put it in trash. Even though I'm a red hive, I'm telling you, this is unbiased. Fire B, if you run it, you're kind of dumb. Even though it gives you 50% flame pollen, you barely make any honey from flames as red. The only thing you're using flames for is dark heat. Fire B, it is kind of trash. Frost TV, you already know, blue equals trash. Okay. Uh, Gummy B, I'm gonna put it in A tier. Once again, you guys might think, hey, a Gummy B, every hive should have it. Play the dramatic music, I do not currently have a Gummy B. Even though it's very good, honey per pollen, we get that back from nectars. Every single nectar pretty much gives you honey per pollen. Every five of the nectars gives you honey per pollen. And so does the wolf clock. Yeah, having Gummy Bee as a red hive or like a blue hive, it's a bit like a waste of a slot. 
I think Blue Hive, it's good, but I don't know. I would prefer to have an extra Buoyant or Precise instead of Gummy Bee in my Hive. Next we have Hasty Bee. I'll put it in S tier because so many Hives have it. White uses Hasty Bee to get their Triangulates stretch faster. Red uses it to get more Precise tokens and all that good stuff. And Blue uses it just to pop more bubbles. So Haste, it's very important. You get player move speed constantly. If you get Hasty Bee early on, you'll probably be keeping it for the rest of your Beastorm career. Lion Bee. So I'ma just say it is kind of straight up trash. No one uses it. No, I'm putting it life in prison if you use it. Because no one uses Lion Bee. Except if you're like an early game noob and you think Lion Bee is a good legendary. Hey, Lion Bee, I think it was my first ever gifted legendary. I gifted it with pineapples on accident. I remember that. The Liquor Bee. I'ma do same as Commander. Like, it's good and all. But it's just not required, you know? You don't need Liquor Bee in a lot of hives. So yeah, Music Bee, it is S tier straight up. Every single hive needs a Music Bee. I currently only have, what is that? Yeah, that's one Music Bee because I have because I have a Bee Quip, for example. Bee Quips like toy drums, they make up for the um, lack of Music Bees because they give you melody. Melody is the only thing you want from Music Bees. It's the only thing that's useful that it gives and gives you critical power, which is being, you know, very cool. Ninja Bee, okay, so life in prison if you use. Some trash blue hives might think that, hey, uh, B move speed and blue B equals good in blue hive, but no, it is trash. Don't use it. It's useless. All you young game grinders know you played 100 days of B swarm for that 0 0.05 B move speed, so why why do you need a ninja B? You spent 100 days of your life. Why do you need a music B? No, but straight up, it's actually kind of trash. Don't use it. Life in prison if you use this B. Uh, the tier list isn't lie. Photon B. Uh, I, 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 you know, mixed opinions. I'm gonna say it's alright because so many hives prefer not to use it. Actually, no, I think I think it's going in A. I think I had a uh, photon B as a blue hive, but I don't know. I kind of forgot. Puppy B. I'll put it in trash. It's good for that occasional leveling up your bees, but once you leveled up all of your bees, you will not ever use it for like grinding. People might think that reindeer antlers are good. You get gingerbread bears, but no, bro. Like reindeer antlers, where are they? Yeah, permanents. They use trash. I would delete them if I could. Because I do not need them at all. If you use Puppy B, I'll put you in prison. And that's the promise. Rage B. So I will put this in A tier right next to Brave B because it is same as Brave B. You need it for White and Red Hive for Sarsaw. The more attack you have, the more pollen you get, and the more uh, pollen Sarsaw converts. Sarsaw is a passive, by the way. If you're an early game noob and you don't know what Sarsaw is, don't worry. You'll get here eventually. Even though it's not very fun. Okay, Rascal B. On biased opinion, I'm putting Rascal and Riley over in Trash as well, same as Blue. And I don't think I have them in my hive. Some people prefer to, but I just, you know, they're not very useful. Shocked B. Okay, I forgot which, uh, I forgot what Shocked B gives you, but let's see. Shocked B gives you 25% white pollen. Uh, I'm gonna put it in, I think white hives should use this, so I'm gonna just put it in, it's just I, you know? White Hive, it's one third of the way there. No, it's two. It's in the middle. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, Shock B, it's good for White Hives and nothing else. And early game, maybe. Yeah, Shy B. Um, it's it's trash as well. Shy B is trash. I think Zap Player said you should use Shy B in your Hive, but no, man. Like, it, it, it's trash. You don't need Shy B. 5% B ability pollen, like, bro, you don't need that B ability pollen. You get 10% B ability rate from refreshing Nectar, so if you can just keep that up, you're chill, man. You don't need their Shy B. It's a waste of a slot for Red Hive. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm put it life in prison if you use, okay? Even though I'm a Red Hive, life in prison, and bias. Okay, uh, Honey Bee. Honey Bee, it is... I forgot once again what Honey Bee is. 1.5 Honey from Tokens. Okay, so White Hives use this. I'm gonna put it in... It's... I'm gonna put it in its eye, right? You know? It's not completely, if you're a white hive, you definitely need this in your hive because you get most of your honey from collecting tokens from Gummy Star. Well, not most, but you get a lot of honey from tokens from Gummy Star. So it's very important if you're a white hive. Uh, Stubborn Bee, I'm gonna put it in It's a Right as well. I misclicked. Not many hives tend to run it. Like personally, I forgot whether I do. Yeah, I don't run it. Like it's nice to have, but it's not necessary. It's good if you're starting off to playing Bee Swarm. But once you get the hang of it, and once you know how to use and collect tokens efficiently so they don't despawn, eh, you don't need Stubborn B. It's a waste of a slot. Once again, I'd rather have like an extra Buoyant B or Precise B or extra Vector if I was a White Hive. Optional, so it's just okay. It's nothing crazy, nothing revolutionary. 
Digital B, S tier. Digital B changed Beast from Simulator forever. Whoever that guy is, Compendium or something, he predicted Digital B is going to break Beast from Simulator because the grind for drives is non-stop. People are now making their hives to be as efficient as possible for Digital B because the duplication tokens, the more tokens you get to duplicate, the more pollen you can get and the more honey you can get. So yeah, it's, it's insane what Digital B does and what people do to get Digital B leveled up. What do we got next? We have Tabby B. So Tabby B, Tabby B is in S tier. Every single hive needs it. It is OPB. I kind of forgot what Tabby B gives, to be honest. I think it gives you super crit power. Yeah, Cr critical power it gives you. So the more you get it, the better it is. You know, scratch. I have times 1000 Tabby love, all that good stuff. It's very OP. So you should get Tabby B as soon as you possibly can. Get it over any event B, but I would also get something like Crimson and Cobalt first if you can. I'm sure I made a video on the order of which event bees you should buy, so just hear people have videos on it. Windy B! No, Vicious B! Yeah, Vicious B. It's just I, you know, it's good, it's good for macroing, it's good for blue hive, it's good for tech. Actually, it's going in A, because it's good for tech, it's good for red and white hive sometimes, but it's, it's not good for boosting and all that stuff. Yeah, I tend to keep it in my hive when I'm doing something like Robo Challenge, so that's why I'd say, but I would never keep it in my hive while boosting. Same with blue. I don't think they even have Vicious B. Windy B, it's A as well. Because for something like the Red Hive, Windy B is bad because it kills off your haste. And I, for some reason, have Windy B in my hive. I have not figured out what to replace it with. So yeah, the search for something to replace my Windy B with is on. Precise B is a solid S. Precise B is a must for red and white. And even early on, if you get a, if you somehow get a precise B, you're stacked, you're chillin', you're like vitamin delicious. You're mixed sus, okay? Guaranteed one of the best bees in the game, in my opinion. So, yeah, it shoots these cool laser beams, and it shoots you, and it kills you, and it does a lot of damage. And it gives you, most importantly, a super great chance. And also, very importantly, what it gives you is the precise mark, which I'll show you. Yeah, so precise mark, very OP, stacks up to 3 as you can see, and it gives you a plus 21 super crit chance and plus 21 normal critical chance. Point B, it's an A, because I'm putting it in A and not S, like the precise B, because it's only good for blue hives. But it is, once again, the only thing that makes blue hives run. Point B is the only thing keeping blue hives relevant and making honey. Without point B, blue hives will not be making honey. Okay, so Spicy B. I will put it in A tier because the reason I'm putting it in A tier is because it's only good for red hives. But once again, without a bunch of Spicy Bs like me, I have like 10 or 11. Yeah, 10. So without Spicy Bs, red would not work. Just like blue without the points. It would just not work. Tadpole. I'm putting it in S tier because I th I'm not sure white hives are on it, but I do know red hives are on it. Personally, I have two and the reason we use it is for baby love and that is the only reason. Everything else is kind of useless. Yeah, Spicy B, it's solid for Red Hive, but it's also good early and mid-game if you somehow get it. Fuzzy B, I'm putting it S tier, it's king. It is insane for early, mid-game, and even end-game. I'm not sure if White Hives are on it, but Blue Hives definitely do when they're macroing alone. And Vector B, okay, Vector, I will put it... You know, it's going in S tier. It is OP. Vector B is used by both White and Red Hives. White Hives use it just for a bunch of marks and also for triangulates. Red doesn't really need the triangulates, but it uses it for normal marks. Like I showed you guys, with the spicy bees, you can get the super crit mark. Yeah, right here. You can get this precise mark. But with the help of all these uh, vector bees, you can link a bunch of these precise marks up. So if you didn't know if these two circles touch, so say for example, this little mark touches the other mark, they link together. Yeah, just like that. So you can link a bunch of precise marks with normal marks and... It's just very helpful. Hopefully I explained it well enough so you guys understand, but this isn't a tutorial video, so I'm not going to go into any more depth. But I do hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and sub if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.